Is your phone already a hearing aid? As we use technology to combat hearing loss, a new trend is emerging. Using consumer tech like earbuds with better noise reduction to help us hear important sounds more easily. But can an app on your phone do the same thing? A recent update to Google's sound amplifier now supports Bluetooth headphones. So you can use the microphones on your phone and send an amplified signal to the headset of your choice. This is similar to the Live Listen feature on an iPhone, but Live Listen currently only supports Apple and Beats headphones, where Google's new Amplifier app supports nearly any wired or wireless option. Sound Amplifier is pretty straightforward. It's designed to help users lift audio levels and reduce background noise. And on Pixel devices, this app can also increase the volume of audio and video played on the device. This is a critical improvement over inexpensive audio boosting solutions sold to consumers. Instead of a tinny or harsh microphone blasting louder sound into the ear, we want to use smarter technology to reduce the noise around us. That signal to noise ratio is one of the more critical aspects of hidden hearing loss. A little extra volume can help, but I would caution against relying on only boosting the volume as that will likely exacerbate hearing loss over time. With sound amplifier and live listen, we can place a phone closer to the source we want to hear and then use wireless headphones to receive that audio. Sound amplifier takes this a step farther by giving us some basic tuning and noise reduction settings to adjust. And I'm really happy to see that Google allows you to tailor those adjustments per ear as hearing loss is often asymmetrical. So. Does this stuff work? Well, yes, but there is some room for improvement. The general noise reduction effect is working in near real time, and that level of audio processing is fairly intense. A striking a balance between noise cancellation, processing power, and battery life, I would say the final output is good. Depending on the noise around you, you'll certainly hear digital distortion and artifacts. You know, that warbling sound, which can feel sort of low fidelity for digital audio. But if the desired outcome is to hear a human voice over the sound of a busy office or a cafe, then some digital distortion in the background is far less distracting than being surrounded by that noise. I kind of feel like that's enough to get a handle on what the app's going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the airplane noise here. Against proper standalone hearables like Olive Union and New Hera, Google's app can't unseat dedicated hardware solutions. My hearable earbuds easily outperform including better hearing analysis tools and finer controls over the kind of noise you might want to reduce. That said, a phone-based solution has three key benefits. One, the app is free. Two, it can be used with existing headphones. And three, it's not dependent on the physical proximity of your ears. When I'm wearing my IQ Buds, audio from my perspective is easier to hear. But with Sound Amplifier, I can move my phone closer to a source if I want to hear audio from a distance more specifically. All in all, this is really exciting tech. When it comes to consumer noise reduction, we're hitting a plateau where even affordably priced headphones can include surprisingly good ANC. The next phase of audio probably won't improve much on the amount of noise we can eliminate from our surroundings, but there's plenty of room to improve on intelligent noise reduction. Instead of just squashing all noise, we can buy headphones that scalpel around human speech, or maybe improve on highlighting directional audio so the sound is heightened where I look. And as processing power 
power increases, this effect can be delivered at higher fidelity. Like RTX Voice from Nvidia, which is shockingly good at cutting noise in real time with zero lag and delivering surprisingly high fidelity output for voices. Now that takes a beefy graphics card to accomplish, so we can't do that on a phone just yet, but we're heading in the right direction. If any of your family or friends are suffering from some hearing loss, but they're reluctant to try a hearable or talk to their doctor about hearing aids, apps like Sound Amplifier are a terrific first step to help them out. And I've included a link to Sound Amplifier in the description below. Have you tried using the hearing assistance options on your phone or computer? What have your experiences been? Drop me some comments down below. Let's have a chat about hearing health. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel. We'll have plenty more to discuss for hearing health and audio quality in the new year, and hopefully I'll be able to start taking my audio gear out to public places again soon. And I'm excited to follow up on conversations with doctors and researchers. There's plenty coming, so stay tuned. I can't thank those of you enough who are supporting these kinds of conversations, sharing on social media, and checking out the support links here and on somegadgetguy.com, including those of you on the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. These are basically the coolest people on the web, some great tech pals, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, uh, Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.